Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use this linear voltage regulator. It's a LM317 DC to DC buck module. It has an adjustable linear converter that steps down any incoming voltage to a lower voltage. And it does that by using the LM317 linear voltage regulator that's built into this little module. So there's the LM317 uh, linear voltage regulator there, and then it's screwed right onto a heat sink to dissipate any of the heat through the voltage conversion. And then what I like about this little module is it has two, uh, two posts on each side where you can screw wires for the incoming and the outgoing positive and ground wires. Here's the poten potentiometer where you can adjust the outgoing voltage and then a capacitor there. So today I'll show you how to use this little module and give it a test run for you and show, show you how it works. I'll be using my small multimeter just to show the incoming and outgoing voltages and, and what I can use it for. So my plan for this is I actually wanna use it for my small microcontroller project where I have various sensors input into an Arduino. So I wanna take my incoming voltage from my truck battery, which is roughly 12 volts, and then I wanna regulate that down to uh, voltage for the Arduino, which accepts I think it's like 4.75 volts up to 5.25 volts. So I want to I wanna regulate regulate that incoming voltage down to a 5 volts and still have it, have it not fluctuate between those values very much at all. So we'll see how this little regulator works. All right, so I've hooked up some wires to both sides of this uh, buck module. And then I've hooked it up to my 18 volt lithium ion battery from my power drill. So what I'm going to do here is just take my small multimeter measure the actual voltage coming out of this battery. So as you can see there on the multimeter, it's reading 20.6 volts. And then, so the positive and negative terminals go into this buck module here, and then the output terminals are here. So what I can do is take the same multimeter and then put it across the terminals here to the negative and the positive and see what I get for a reading. So right now I have it set at about 15 volts. And then what I can do so I can take a flathead screwdriver and then come down here to the potentiometer. And then as you can see, screwing in on the potentiometer will bring the voltage down to whatever voltage you want. So if I want to power up an Arduino with this, I can just screw this all the way in until I reach five volts. And then if I wanted to go up Let's see what the max voltage I can get out of this. So my incoming voltage was, what, around 20 volts? Yeah, so this is a step-down voltage regulator, which means I can't boost the voltage at all. I can only step it down. So the max I'm getting out of this right now is 19.1 volts. Let's see what the lowest is, lowest voltage is that I can get on this. So just screwing it in here. And the lowest voltage on this looks to be about 1.2, 1.3 volts. So I can use it to power up my Arduino at, at the 3.3 volts or the 5 volts. Um, the, so I'll show, I'll show you actually, I'll set it at 5 volts and then I'll power up the Arduino and see how it works. All right, so to note this voltage regulator, according to the dat data sheet, can input voltage from 4.2 volts to 40 volts. And it says it's adjustable output voltage ranges from 1.2 volts to 37 volts. And if I scroll down and just take a quick look at the amperage ratings, um, we can have a current output of 1.5 amps. So I wouldn't use this voltage regulator to power up anything directly too powerful. But if you're just looking to power up the Arduino and use the uh, Arduino itself, I don't think the Arduino draws that much current unless you're, you know, powering like a fan through it or something. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I have this other Arduino project here that I can test out my voltage regulator with to power up the Arduino and the entire system. So I have the Arduino Mega here with a pressure transducer, a voltage sensor, and then to display those values onto the LCD screen. So let's see if I can get this 18 volt battery through the voltage regulator here to power up this entire project. So I have my multimeter leads here. I'm going to test out what the voltage is coming from this battery. 
So I've got 20.6 volts on the multimeter. Let's confirm it here. 20.6 volts. That's on the input side of the voltage regulator. So on the output side of the voltage regular regulator, let's see what we have. So I've set it down to five volts. Here, let's flip this down here. So I've set that to, it's at 5.01 volts. So now what I can do is take the leads from the output of the voltage regulator and try and not mess anything up here. And then just plug it into my breadboard, which is linked into my Arduino. Negative first, then positive. Okay, so I'm powered up. Looks like the project's powering up. So here I am powering the LCD screen, the Arduino with this voltage regulator. And as you can see, it's working. So my voltage sensor says I have 4.91 volts coming in on the screen here. That's what the voltage sensor says. So let's confirm that again here. So coming out of the voltage regulator, I've got 5.03 volts. Let's see what I have over here. I've got 5.03 volts, but for some reason my voltage sensor on my display at least is telling me I have 4.91 volts. So there might be a little bit of a discrepancy there, but here I am powering this entire project with a voltage regulator through an 18 volt battery. So that's kind of cool. So keep in mind, this heatsink will likely get pretty hot if it's powering much amperage through it or if it's drawing much amperage. So right now this is I'm touching that with my finger and it's warm. It's not too hot, but of course we'll have to test and see, you know, on different size of different sizes of projects, just to see what sort of longevity these little uh, buck converters can have. All right, so I let that run a little bit for probably three or four minutes, and I'm coming back to the heat sink here, and it's it's warm. It's not too hot. I can touch it with my finger without burning myself, which is nice. So. This kind of just shows you how that little voltage regulator module works and now I can integrate that into my um, my sensor project and, and make it work with the Arduino using a higher voltage source such as my truck battery which is between 12 and 14 volts when it's when it's charging. So hopefully this helps if you have any questions about this voltage regulator and and how it works in general let me know or if you have any comments about how I can better bring in a source of voltage through my truck battery using a different module. Let me know in the comments down below. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more progress updates and projects. Thanks for watching. Cheers.